Hey everyone, so today on the channel we're making a tropical cocktail that is not rum based. In fact, it's also not bourbon or rye or tequila or gin. In fact, today we're going vodka. Today we're going to be making the Cloud Forest out of the new Tropical Standard Book by Garrett Richard. I'm Andy, this is Easy Tiki Drinks, let's do this. So of course, like most of you probably watching this, I recently picked up the Tropical Standard Book by Garrett Richard. And so I've been thumbing through it and finding different recipes to start doing. I've done a couple of them on the channel so far, and I've really loved everything that I've produced. So why not just do another one? And in fact, I was trying to find a cocktail that would be super nice and refreshing for the summertime. And when I think of cocktails like that, I think of a missionary's downfall, which is a classic Dawn the Beach Comer cocktail. Now, I've already done kind of like a blended missionary's downfall on this channel, plus a shaken one. So I didn't want to do that again. So I needed to find a new one. Well, just so happens that in Garrett Richards' new book, Tropical Standard, he happens to have a riff on it known as the Cloud Forest. Now, the inspiration for the Cloud Forest actually comes from another cocktail that Garrett did at a different restaurant that he used to work at, not Sunken Harbor Club, which he works at now. No, this actually comes from Booker and Dax, and specifically their TBD cocktail, or Thai Basil Daiquiri. Now, the Thai Basil Daiquiri used an innovative method for its time. It used something known as nitro muddling. So essentially what would happen is Dave Arnold would add Thai basil leaves to a shaking tin and pour liquid nitrogen over them, which would instantly freeze them. You'd then use a muddler to basically pulverize them into a fine powder, almost like matcha. So where did nitro muddling come from? Well, fresh herbs have an enzyme in them that once they're broken, they start to break down and brown. And so by flash freezing them with liquid nitrogen, we're essentially stopping that process from happening and preserving this vibrant green color. Now, for those of you that want to make a Thai basil daiquiri at home, you don't need liquid nitrogen. In fact, because we're, it is a blended cocktail and you are freezing it, you can actually do it at home in a blender and it's actually super easy. I'll leave a link to an article on how to do the Thai basil daiquiri in the description below. Now, this brings us to the Cloud Forest, which uses a similar idea of taking this herb and freezing it so it preserves that bright green color. And in fact, Don the Beachcomber did it himself when he did the Missionary's Downfall, but he did it with mint. Instead, in this cocktail, we're going to use Thai basil, which has this kind of like spicy anise flavor, which pairs super well with tropical cocktails. And honestly, I think we should probably explore more. So let's see what we're going to need to make our cloud forest. To make our cloud forest, we're going to need vodka, coconut mix, lime juice, salt solution, and xanthan gum. Now, as you can see, the main ingredient in this cocktail is vodka. Now, I did have to make a substitution. Originally, Garrett calls for a 100 proof vodka, specifically if you can get your hands on it, black cow, which I can't. I happen to have this chakra vodka, which is also flavored with pineapple and rosemary, which will pair super, super well with this cocktail, even bringing us a little bit more back towards the missionary's downfall, which I'm okay with. Now, before I continue, let's talk about another ingredient here, and you might be like, Andy, what is coconut mix? So you've heard me talk about cream of coconut, coconut milk, coconut syrup, and now I'm gonna talk about coconut mix. Coconut mix is the way that Sunken Harbor Club does their cream of coconut or coconut syrup. For a lot of people, Coco Lopez is thick and gooey and overly sweet. So what they do is they're gonna cut it with a three to one ratio of Coco Lopez and unsweetened Thai coconut milk. So to make our coconut mix, we're gonna combine 425 grams of cream of coconut and 142 grams of unsweetened coconut milk. Put that in a container, and you might wanna use a blender to incorporate all the ingredients. That's really it. Essentially, it's just a cream of coconut that is a little less sweet and more easy to use. So let's build our cloud forest and then Let's try it out. In your blender cup, add five drops of salt solution. Next, add eight to 10 Thai basil leaves. Next, add half an ounce or 15 milliliters of fresh squeezed lime juice. Next, add an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters of our coconut mix. Then, add an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters of our vodka. Now we're gonna dry blend with no ice until all the ingredients are incorporated. Next, add a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. And then, blend again. Now add 170 grams or about 12 ounces of pebble ice. Now, blend again till smooth. Grab a chilled goblet and open pour in. Garnish with a Thai basil sprig and serve with a straw. And there you have it. Garrett Richards out of the Tropical Standard Book, Cloud Forest. Uh, my straw is too big, I forgot all my other straws in the other room, so we're going with the big one today. Oh well, let's give this a try.
that is light and herbaceous. And yeah, like the coconut mix is heavy, but there's so much vibrancy from that Thai basil that this is kind of more like an amouche-bouche or like a palate cleanser. If you find tiki cocktails to be a little overly acidic and it kind of gives you a little bit of ingestion after a while, I highly recommend you finish the night or in the middle of your night, make one of these to keep going. Now, Garrett called this a cloud forest in honor of the cloud forest from Thailand. And I have to say, I've been to Thailand. This screams Thailand flavors to me. It's coconut and Thai basil, which I mean, come on, curries have proven to us pair so well together. And this cocktail is just basically like a slightly anise forward, herbal, herbaceous, coconutty. Um, the vodka, you know, is adding to this mouthfeel. It's just, it's a wonderful cocktail that is perfectly refreshing for summer or kind of like mid meal uh, if you want something to cleanse your palate. Anyway, I'm Andy. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell. Other than that, just follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at EZTE Drinks. Super simple. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, what are we doing next time? It's a good question. Ah, now I remember, next week we're going to be taking a look at the Mr. Belly High and we're going to be making a modern interpretation of it. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and until next time, take it easy.